as we all know, our life is short in this life, in this uh, uh, world. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given us opportunity to multiply our rewards in certain occasions in the year. One of the most famous one that we all know, we try to take the advantage of it, the month of Ramadan. But also these days, the 10 days of the Hijjah that are going to start tomorrow are no way less in virtue and importance than the days of Ramadan. To the extent that the ulama rahimahullah made a comparison between the last 10 days of Ramadan and the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And they said that the days of the Hijjah are greater than the days of Ramadan and the nights of Ramadan are greater than the nights of the Hijjah because of Laylat al-Qadr. Otherwise, the amount of good deeds and rewards that the Muslim can gain during these 10 days are unmatched. And the virtue of these 10 days are so many. And the ulama rahimahullah, the scholars, said to show you how important these days are, one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made an oath with them. And anytime Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make an oath and swear by something, it means something so valuable. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fajr, Al-Fajr, the time of Fajr that you're all familiar with, because it's the most important prayer in the day. And also, ash, the ten nights. And these ten nights, as Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, and so many others said, that these are the ten nights of the Hijjah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said by the best time of the day and the best days of the year, which is the ten days of the Hijjah. And Ibn Kathir rahimahullah said, sahih, and this is the correct understanding of the verse. It is these days, the ten days of the Hijjah, are the days that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned also in Surah Al-Hajj when he said, وَيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ so they mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala names in, uh, uh, in certain days, certain specific days. And Allah specify these days, so we increase the amount of dhikr, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these days. And you will see Ibn Umar and Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum, Mujahid, and so many of the interpreters of the Quran said that these are the days of the Hijjah, the 10 days of the Hijjah. It is so important, it is uh, in virtue, it is so high and so valuable these days. As in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam uh, said in hadith Jabir radiallahu an, قال, أَفْضَلُ أَيَّامِ الدُّنْيَا أَيَّامُ الْعَشْرِ The best days of the world, the best days of the year are the days of Al-Ashr, the ten days of the Hijjah, reported by Al-Bazzar. To show you the importance of these ten days as well, that the ninth of the Hijjah is the day of Arafah. And the day of Arafah is the day of the Grand Hajj, the, 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 the grandiose day, and the most important day in Hajj. And in this day, the Prophet wasallam said, and listen carefully, I choose the ahadith that apply to us here, even though we're not over there in the mountain of Arafah. But you still can relate to, the, to these narrations. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم, ما من يوم أكثر من أن يعتق الله فيه من النار من يوم عرفة رواه الإمام مسلم. That the Imam Muslim reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there is no day Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala free people from hellfire as many as the day of عرفة. And that apply to those who are over there and those who everywhere else also are inshallah included in this if they engage in a good deeds and they come with a pure heart with repentance and uh, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely for his forgiveness. Qal al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in regard to fasting that day for those who are not in hajj, he said, وَأَحْتَسِبُ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَن يُكَفِّرَ السَّنَةَ الَّتِي قَبْلَهُ وَالَّتِي بَعْدَهُ I'm hoping that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise the sins of the previous year and even the upcoming year because of the amount of reward that you gain out of fasting that day. In these 10 days, the last day of the 10 days, it is the day of Al-Nahr. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهذا الحديث في السنن بإسناد صحيح جيد أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أعظم أيام الله يوم النحر 
ثم يوم القر that the greatest day of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's days if there is a single day will be the best the top it will be the day of nahr the 10th of the hijjah the day of eid قال ابن حجر رحمه الله one thing that make this ten, make these 10 days are very special انه اجتمعت فيهن امهات العبادات التي لا تجتمع في مكان في وقت اخر he said in these 10 days we do the greatest act of worship the greatest acts of worship that we can think of in islam are all done during these 10 days we are praying the five daily prayers and we encourage to pray during these 10 days which is one of the most important act of worship as salah during these days we give sadaqah when we do the qurban when we do the udhiyah also in these days we've been encouraged to fast during the 10 days or the nine days of the hijjah especially the day of arafah so that's a fasting and you can add to this and you might say okay ramadan we do all this but here we have one more thing which is people do hajj people go for hajj so this is something very special about these 10 days because of this the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said wa huwa hadith fi sahih fi al bukhari wa ghayrihi min hadith ibn abbas radiyallahu anhuma anna an nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala ma min ayyamin al amal al salih fiha ahabbu ila allah min hadhihi al ayyam يعني العش قالوا يا رسول الله ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله قال ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله إلا رجل خرج بنفسه وماله ثم لم يرجع من ذلك بشيء that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there is no deed no deed that it is better in the sight of Allah or more greatly rewarded than a good deed done in the first 10 days of the hijjah he was asked sallallahu alaihi wasallam not even jihad for the sake of Allah. Yani the question is like this. So let's say in 10 days of the hijjah, the first 10 days, you give a hundred dollars donation or you pray two rakahs. This donation and these two rakahs better than any deed you can imagine done outside the 10 days. So said Ya Rasulullah, what if someone participated in jihad? You know, what is more, the ultimate sacrifice that you're willing to give up your own soul to defend the, the Islam, to defend the Prophet Sallallahu what have this been done comparing the donation or the two rak'ah to that deed? Obviously, you would think that the, the basically the ultimate sacrifice is higher. He said, no. Even al-jihad fi sabillah is not equal. To any deed, yani even when you say astaghfirullah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, it's better than anything can be done or you can imagine to do outside the, month, outside the 10 days of the hijjah. Except one case, Someone, the Prophet وسلم, unless a man goes out himself for the jihad, taking his whole entire wealth with him, then he does not come back or nothing come back, neither him nor his wealth. All his wealth basically is spent for the sake of Allah and he died as a murderer. That thing will be better. But other than that, any deeds you do during these 10 days is much higher and much better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.